In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cup or a glass using the NURBS tools in Cinema 4D, specifically the lathe NURBS object. What the lathe NURBS object does is it takes a spline that you create and it spins it around the lathe NURBS object's Y axis. So any points touching that Y axis will get merged with points on the other side. So just imagine that this spline right here is getting spun around on heading and that's what's being used to create your lathe nerve shape. To make a lathe nerves like this, we'll start with a simple example and then we'll go over how to make a glass specifically like this. Start by creating a new scene and then add a spline to your scene that you want to use as your shape. I'm going to choose a star spline. Now, a star spline starts out centered at the world's origin in the middle right here. And what I want to do is move it over on the x-axis so that when we put it in our lathe nerves object and it spins around this y-axis, there's a gap in the middle. So go ahead and add a lathe nerves object to your scene and add your star spline to your lathe nerves object. Notice that that star is now being spun around to form a circle. Now this isn't a particularly useful example, uh, but know that if you were to say add a circle, again by dragging the circle spline into my lathe nerves object, I get a sphere, or as I take it out wider, I get a donut. So this donut is being spun around this y-axis here, and it's all being created because this circle again is being spun around this y-axis. So to create a wine glass, again create a new scene, and then go into your front view. When drawing splines for lathe nerves objects, you always want to be in your front view, which is your y-x view. Uh, in addition, I recommend lining up the bottom of your objects with the bottom of your grid here. And you can zoom in a bit so that uh, you've got some space to work. There are a number of spline tools that you can use, but the one that I recommend is the Bezier spline tool. And what that allows you to do is draw out a path much like you would do in Adobe Illustrator or After Effects. And this tool works by clicking and dragging to add a point and handles. The, when you're dragging out your handles, you always want to drag in the direction of the path and the way that the path is headed. So to create sort of a wavy shape, I would do something like this. Now, to create our wine glass, let's go ahead and use our Bezier spline tool and we're going to create a simple shape. Start by creating the base of the glass and we're going to want to add a point at the world origin right here. So I'm just going to click at the base. I'm going to come over here to the uh, two grid points over on the base, click and drag ever so slightly to my right to create a slight rounding. Then I'm going to come over and above, click and drag to my left, and again I'm forming the base of my chalice right here. Uh, I come to this point, I'm going to click and drag, I'm starting to create the stem. I'm going to come up and over to about uh, this grid point and click and drag up and over like this over a few points and this is looking more like a champagne flute and I guess that's fine clicking up and dragging down uh, excuse me and clicking and dragging up to create those handles and then I'm gonna go just to the left and click and drag in a downwards direction and I'm now going to come to roughly the same location of this other point. And I'm trying to create the surface of the glass. So I'm going to click near this point, click and drag towards the center line. And then I'm going to come to the center line and just single click to add a point. Now it's important that these points line up exactly with the center line here. So to do that, I'm going to take my live selection tool and click and drag to paint select this point and then hold down shift to add to my selection, click and drag, and select this bottom point. 
I can see in my coordinates manager that they're at the position of 0 0.341. Your number may be different. Type in 0 to zero out the position, and do the same for size. Set that to 0 as well. They're now lined up perfectly on this y-axis. Now I want to line up the base of my glass perfectly on the ground. So I'm going to select my two points on the ground using my Live Select tool by clicking and dragging to Paint Select. And then I'm going to set their Y position to 0. And it looks like their Y size is already 0, but if it's not, type in 0. Uh, this is looking pretty good, but I suspect the base here is a bit too far out. So I'm going to use my Paint Select tool to select these points and just drag them in slightly. Feel free to modify the spline uh, to suit your needs. And uh, the glass is, for me is looking a little bit thick, so I'm selecting multiple points again by paint selecting. And I'm just going to move them up and over to make a thinner glass. In the end, you get a shape that looks something like this. This is the profile that we're going to spin around this y-axis in our lathe nerves object. So go ahead and add a lathe nerves object to your scene by pressing and holding on this icon and selecting lathe nerves. And you can take a look at this and see that it actually looks like a vase and it has that line right there. So it gives you a pretty good indication of which, which nerves object you need to use. Go ahead and drag your spline into your lathe nerves. So you click and drag until you get a downwards arrow and then you release. Notice that you now have a number of lines revolving around the center here, creating that glass. It's looking pretty good. It might be a little bit wide. Uh, and if you want to resize it, uh, what you can do is select your spline object, take your model tool, take your scale tool, and then grab that red axis handle. And that'll allow you to adjust the width and height of this glass. So to turn this into a champagne flute, I would just grab these top points and move it up. And that is how you use uh, the spline tools to build a lathe nerves object.